Well, hello, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu here on Boot Plays Whatever. In our previous episode, it wasn't recording, and I was pissed. It's when I escaped the hospital, and it was crazy. <gasps> Who goes there? I'm extremely upset by the fact that it was not recording. That nightmare again. Ugh. But I escaped the hospital, but it did, I was basically just kind of tracking people, so it was a little bit, but all of a sudden the very end of it got all action-packed. I'm pissed. So we met, so just as a kind of a recap, we escaped the hospital, he had, I had to turn on several power sources, so I was just kind of creeping on around. Um, creeping on around, uh, turned on multiple power sources, caused a superpower outage, and then we came across this gentleman right here, Francis Sanders. Who informed us that Sarah Hawkins was uh, revoking um, crazy things, and he w she was basically the cause. Uh, this guy ended up getting pulled on up and then killed by some unknown entity. It was insane. Like I was like, "Holy jeez!" And then we made our escape, um, and now we're back at the Hawkins Manor on to Chapter Six, which is cool beans. Um, I have got some CP. We're gonna max this bad boy on out. Validate this. Maximum investigation go so we're two, we got two we got four more to get to uh, improve one of these various things Which I think is going to be psychology or eloquence probably psychology uh, We're gonna stick with that But no, I'm super super angry about That not recording Very peeved very peeved about that. It's like that's a whole half hour of, of good stuff <sighs> So anyway uh, back at the Hawkins Manor and um, making our way through, um, I don't know, it's like Bradley apparently is alive. And that's a little disturbing to me since he did die. He did die. We saw this. We saw this with our own eyes. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? <sighs> did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. Okay, Bradley. We gotta talk, bro. I can't talk to you, but I can talk to How's you. How's a fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Okay, so I can't choose that. My cult isn't that great, even though there's... Hold to test psychology. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Okay, so my psychology isn't that good. Okay, so... What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. Indeed. And then, I went to visit you at the hospital and called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Hmm. Okay. So. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. 
A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? I don't know. I'm a master of investigation. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? I saw dead bodies. Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. Barbrady, you should be dead. Shut your mouth. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Okay. So I might be on to a lead. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Yeah, no, it was nutty. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. <sighs> he did call it the Shambler, which I am familiar with. If you've ever seen in the Darkest Dungeon, um, I did fight a Shambler. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife. Huh. Irene Sanders. Yes, he is the one that bought up all of her work. That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. Hmm. Better to confront the truth. He's right. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Okay, so we gotta talk to Sanders' widow. Is there anything of use for me in here? No, because we've investigated all this unless new stuff comes about. Oh, the whiskey glass. Yeah, have it affect my destiny. I've had a rough time. I've had a rough time. Well deserved. I need that. I need that. I needed that. Okay. Let's go ahead and leave. So the Sanders residence. This is where we're heading off to. Man, that really... Ugh. I'm going to pine about that episode not being recorded for the rest of the goddamn series. I tell you. Freaking just... Ooh, just eats eats me up inside. 
but yeah, um, it was about a lot of me just kind of dilly dallying on through and planning uh, my escape, watching the guards. Hell, I think I spent seven minutes in just one room looking for clues while I was waiting for this guard to come back and forth. Uh. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, hello, well, Shanky well, McShankins. Look who's here. You know each other. We met yeah. briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Hmm. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? I was no longer there when it happened. You're taking it quite well. Ugh. <sighs> Man, how do I even approach this? My psychology and professionalism isn't that good combined. I could try. What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer. If you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? My eloquence isn't this good. Mm. So ask Fuller, he's the eminent doctor. But I would caution you, you'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. That churl no longer takes the trouble to receive me. Man, my destiny is just gonna affect left and right. To tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me, his own widow. You must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. But I only wanted what was best for him. I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. 
Well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. I just got a bit of snooping to do. Who wouldn't mind, would you? Did she really care for him, after all? I acknowledge the receipt of this letter in which you de demand the body of your deceased husband. I'm sorry to you that I cannot agree to this to turn his body to you. At this moment of his internship, you're signed... A discharge allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences to you, Thomas Fuller. Hmm. Interesting. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Never anything on the back of these bad boys. Uh oh. Reconstruction. Ooh, a lovely tea party. Okay, I'll walk around. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Wow, he does not look the same at all. A house of artists. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally, what did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? Huh. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? The psychology is starting to pay some dividends. And there's one more thing, apparently. Where is this last little deed? The painting itself. Occultism. Ah! Oh, he ripped out his eyes before it. Shambler. I need to see it. Okay. Got that out of the way. Anything else in here I could kind of spy? Medicine! Nice. Need to get this up. I'm not a doctor yet. I'm making my way there very slowly. So, where is this Shambler painting at, madame? Not in here. Not gonna give me any leads to this? Guess not. I wouldn't test my lock picking skills. They are amazing. Don't test them, lady. Okay, so what do we got over here? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids each time I shut my eyes. Oh my god. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. Okay. Let's 
So it must be this way. No, I don't want to burn that. A strange Amerindian pendant. The whale and the cod. Brief history of dark water by Aaron Greenmouth. I could use perfect. one of those. That's not used to. Oh, we got some sleeping pills. Very nice. Strange. Hey Francis, For months, I beg you to give all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. Is our friendship is meaning to you? Please spare me the weight. away for nothing. I beg your dear friend, the Shambler. Forget the Shambler. Hmm. Oh, I don't have the strength for this. Oh, I do. Key to the Sanders Gallery. Read the book. Malaya Speechroom is kind of encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. Okay. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. What are you going to do got about a Shanky? Lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I'm not here to cause trouble if that's what's worrying you. Worry me. Don't overestimate yourself. If the last beating wasn't enough for you, I can always give it another go. You don't got your goons with you this time, lady. My way, you're free to carry on with your visit. And you, what brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? I don't believe this to be the case, lady. I'm gonna hide in the closet? I'm gonna hide in the closet in here. Seems kind of awkward. Don't try to put that on me. Don't put that on me, Bobby. Boucher. Mm. Hmm. Okay. I don't, I'm not going to get anything for that. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. My god, this guy's got a massive freaking art museum. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Yes, I agree with this. What the hell? This would be one hell of an art gallery actually just to stumble a freaking upon. And there it is, lo and behold. The truth of what we seek. Anything I can know about these paintings. Alright, let's investigate everything before we go on in there. You know all hell's gonna break loose once we do. Why was he so interested in old weapons? What is up with these things? Yep, you already know hell's gonna break loose once we crack that Shambler painting. Okay. 
It seems like we've explored what we needed to explore. Ah, <sighs> wait. What do we have here? Is this dagger part of Sander's collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? Isn't that what we saw over here? That it didn't give me a clue to? No, it was this dagger. No. Nope. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Okay. Let's uh, examine this and lose our mind for a little bit. So there's hiding spots in here. So is there like multiple gods at work? Oh hell no. Oh hell no. <laughs> oh my god, no oh, no. I don't think so. <laughs> god! <laughs> god! What the hell was that? Examine the sh- this- Really? Pause this. No. Nope. Kinda pause it like this. I got- oh, I'm one CP away. Oh. oh nope. Need to run. This is running? This is not me running. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. That was not the thing to do. Can we skip this? Okay. What the hell was that? Run, man, run! Get your wits about you, bro. I need, I need you to run. Oh, no, this is um. What is going on here? Okay. One more time. What the hell was that? 
Consult the diary. No one hangs the sand over here. The companions and the sanders were close on the night while the window down. The shambler. Examine the shambler. Apparently, gouged as uh, the key to the gallery is probably in the office. Okay. Behind me. Oh my dear God. Okay. What the hell was that? Nope, nope, nope. that down maybe I can use this dagger no we need to find that one dagger no that's the dagger give me this bad boy that is not the dagger I see now. Okay, so we have to find a dagger. He's blocking the way, obviously, to the dagger we need. What the hell was that? So we gotta make our way on around? Do we use it on the painting? Why is this your maximum speed? Why is this your maximum speed? Let's run this one. Run, 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 Okay, hold this thought. Where is my clues at? So it's got kind of a curvy thing. None of these. Okay, let's run to the other side. Nope. Seems to be two. It's got three. That'd be the closest thing. There we go. Damn. This dagger looks different. I think I'm gonna have to use it on the painting. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, there's using my noodle. <laughs> Killed me enough, sucker. No, get off me, Shambler. Oh. 
Do it. What's the matter with you? Oh my god. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? It, it's nothing. I, I, I think I just drank too much. That goes without saying. If you can't tell the difference between reality and fiction, then you're in real trouble. I ran, screamed, broke a pane of glass. You were in the next room and you didn't hear a thing. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. The door was blocked. I got in as soon as I could. Door's I like blocked. to look after my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Canary. So I must have missed the book somewhere, because it said that that monster's book was the second in the volume. Hmm. Where would the first one have been? Would have been in the, uh, the Hawkins residence? I missed it somewhere. I don't know, I felt my exploration has been pretty good, but then again, I never did go into what's-his-name's house. Huh. The old man's Mr. Winchester's house. A little peeved at myself about that. Looking back on it, it seems I'm never going to have a chance to get in there. All right. We're in Where the bookstore. Is the bookseller? But that's as much time as I got for today, ladies and gentlemen. Holy jeez. Okay. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's episode, if you, if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and leave a like, comment on down below, subscribe, and subscribe when we come on back. We'll investigate the book store and see what's kind of going on over here. And I will uh, I'll tear apart myself because of the lost episode. Mm, that's going to haunt my dreams. But yeah, that's going to have to do for today. So until next time, you take it easy. And I'll see you around. Peace.